Hello. <laughs> During fifth grade, the way I viewed my life and my family all changed. I finally began to notice just how damaged my little family was. This realization left me bitter. It was not too long after my realization that we moved and I had to transfer school districts. By the time I started at Monroe, I was so wrapped up within my anger, I had given up on trying. My sixth grade year didn't go too well for me. I managed to flunk two classes and make a total of zero friends. As the year came to a close, I was called out of class for an avid interview. The whole way to the interview, I couldn't help but wonder what it was and why I was being called out for something I hadn't even signed up for. When I got to the room, the previous year's avid students asked me questions and I gave them as little response as possible. When I left the interview, I was confident I had gotten out of this avid thing. So you must be able to imagine my surprise when I saw that not only was avid on my schedule, it was my first period class. <laughs> so they had recruited me after all. Let me tell you, I wasn't very happy. But I set off towards the classroom anyway. I still remember that day vividly. The room was filled with posters about college and inspirational quotes. It smelt like apples and cinnamon as I would later learn of my teacher's affinity for Glade candles. which was too bad because I hate that smell. <laughs> the teachers seemed nice. The room was filled with people I had never gotten along with, people I was now supposed to call my family. In the first few seconds of class, I quickly assessed that my previous assumptions were correct. I thought I was going to hate this class. Boy, I couldn't have been more wrong. I mean, why else would I be on my fifth year of AVID if I wasn't? I'm not a masochist. <laughs> Over the span of the next few months, I began to realize many things. I began to realize that I really did need AVID to succeed. I noticed I was losing fewer papers because my binders were designed to, sh des were designed to survive the dreaded shake test. <laughs> I began to realize that maybe I didn't know everything that I didn't have everything figured out. The assignments we began receiving, asking us to plan our future, helped me to realize I was heading down the wrong path full speed ahead. I want to be a veterinarian, and to do that, I need to go to college. I also need good grades, and at the time, my grades weren't up to par. AVID gave me the opportunity to see that I was straying so far from the path of my goal, it was slowly slipping away without my even noticing it. AVID didn't stop there. After the initial realization, AVID continued to teach me the skills necessary to get back on track and accomplish my goals. This past junior year in AVID has impacted me the most. My teacher, Ms. Royalty, has taught me so many things. She taught me how to analyze articles, just how useful a tool tutorial is when used properly, the importance of Cornell notes, some new words, like rad, sad hat, and cool beans, expressions she uses that have spread throughout the campus, and so much more a simple 750 word speech can describe. My home situation may not have improved, but with the help and support of my teacher and my classmates, I've been able to stay on track. I cannot thank those in the AVID program enough. Without AVID, I don't know where I would have ended up. AVID saved me. I've been offered so many opportunities that have led me to where I am today because of AVID. I am able to proudly stand here today and say I have a plan for the future because of AVID. I am on the pathway to college because of AVID. Thank you. <laughs>